Coding Made Easy. So what's up everybody, this is Peter aka Coding Made Easy coming to you guys with another LibGDX tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be focusing on getting text input. So sometimes in a game or in an application you're just going to be required to get some input from, uh, from the user. And so uh, there's an easy way to go about it with the uh, text input listener uh, interface. And so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to say implement uh, text input listener and obviously we don't have it so we're going to import that from there and since uh, we're implementing it we have to add our unimplemented method so the two methods it gives us is an input method and a cancelled method so this is when this is what's going to happen once we get our input this is what's going to happen if the input is cancelled so what we're going to do is we're just going to make a string called text and we're going to say once they input text we're going to say this text equal to text if they cancel then we're going to do nothing or you know what we'll say text is equal to cancelled so that's all we're going to do and in our render we're going to say gdx input just touch so if we just uh, touch the screen then we want to get some input so we're gonna say gdx input get text input so as for our text input listener which is uh, this class right here so we're just gonna put in this uh, the title of the dialogue so we're just gonna put title and the default um, the, the default text so we're just gonna put default text in there and after that uh, we're just gonna say gdx app log and we're gonna put text and we're gonna passing the text to the console uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to run this so as you can see it's saying no 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 because there's nothing in text right now I'm gonna click and as you can see it says our title right there and it has our default text in there so we're gonna say um, uh, this is some sample text click OK as you can see it says this is some sample text now let's see if we cancel it if we cancel it as you can see it said cancelled and we're going to change it back to default text again and we're going to exit out to cancel it as well and as you can see when you cancel it multiple ways um, it, um, it calls the cancelled method so anyways um, that is basically it for this tutorial so uh, thanks for watching. I know this was a short tutorial, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to like my page on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and don't forget to sound on my website as well. So that's it, and bye for now.